all right gents how's it going i am here at the bmw off-road training course um got invited to come out and test ride or do the uh, off-road course on a f800 gs um, this is the level two the advanced off-road course <laughs> haven't done the first one barely ridden a gs off-road so this is going to be um this could be kind of tricky <laughs> They say it gets quite technical, but um, we'll be right, <laughs> hopefully. So these guys have all already done the um, the first course. I have not. This is my like second time riding the GS. Kind of happy I'm on the 800, just because um, I rode the 1200 two days ago, and it was it's a big beast, man. I loved it, I absolutely loved it, but um, it's a very different experience to riding a KTM 690 or a WR250, um, especially just having the cylinders come out to where your knees are. I'm so used to throwing my leg out and I was just smacking um, smacking cylinders, so um, it should make it a little bit easier having the, the 800 GS. It's still no light bike, it's still 200 kilos, I think, um, fueled up. I really wanted to see how uh, what a GS is like through through some gnarly shit and this has been the advanced course so this might get uh, actually quite interesting it's good to see some um some of the older blokes actually actually using their gs's man a lot of people say that people buy just buy gs's and don't actually do anything with them but i like this shit actually getting out there and using your big freaking 1200s Alright gents, so this exercise is out of, oh, I took out a cone as well. <laughs> Freaking hell. These pegs are a little bit lower than my KTM. So that, that exercise was how to change control on a, um, on a dirt road whilst standing up. So you want to carry a moderate amount of speed and then change direction twice. Actually, a pretty good little exercise. It seemed quite beginnery, but actually, on these bigger bikes, um, the weight that they carry, um, it actually requires a little bit of input to get them to to move around on a dirt road like that. And they they do slide a bit. That's what I found from the 1200. It was I explained it as it was like drifting a car almost. Not bad, the old GS. They handle their weight well. That's one thing, like the KTM, um, you know, it's a brilliant bike, the KTM 690, but you load it up with 50 litres of fuel and all your camping gear and stuff, and then the suspension kind of doesn't cope as well, but these GSs are made to handle their weight, so they do it quite well. Where well, they are trying to attack us. So this is it's springtime in in Australia. So the birds just get psychotic and just attack you. All right. So this little exercise is all about leaning over the front of the bike. As I just lean over the back. So leaning back. No, lean, <laughs> I completely screwed up. Leaning forward under acceleration and leaning back under when you're going downhill. So you want to be lean forward, let the back piss fart around. Forward on the acceleration and uh, coming down the hills and slowing down, lean back. Here we go, tips time. Oh, yeah, it's all right. Good. Hey, try do me a favor put it in third gear get going get in third yep and do a whole lap just in third gear for me all right done see how you go cool third gear he's wanting me to crash or he's wanting me to not stack because i keep revving out <laughs> this is gonna be fun to get up in third i accepted the challenge third gear
on the acceleration, braking, lean back, forward, and back. All right, I think we're good. We'll remember that. Third gear, man, these BMWs amaze me. I'm in third gear, the whole freaking course. So slow, the third seems to work. To get your yeah, third gear worked fine. Yeah. So much torque. Yeah. Then you don't have to make those gear shifts all the time, which is a bonus. And also, good. power oh, delivery is just that. <laughs> yeah, you stop losing the back wheel for them all the time. Yeah. These are great little tracks, man. Shit, even if like we weren't learning things, this is just a good little fun little off road ride. Look at the little bridge crossing and everything. Don't fall off that one with your GS. I think, I think I like what I like about adventure riding is is the challenge. Like, you know, taking a trail bike, a proper you know 100 kilo dirt bike through this would be boring. You'd be just going faster and faster and faster to push yourself. But the idea that we're putting these 200 kilo machines through this, like that's the challenge, and I dig that. That's why I love adventure riding. It's the difficulty of it. Dubs. Hello, lamb. How are you going? <laughs> Hill traversing on a GS. It's a bit slippy, actually. Follow the sheeps. So I'm going to come down the hill and then cross along the side of it. I want to weight up the outside foot. Keep it all. I'm going to actually just take off my left foot. Hey, you can get quite a lot of grip. You just keep that outside peg all weighted up. You can see how crossed up his bike is. I know the camera doesn't show hills very well, but it's a medium kind of steep hill. Crossing the side of it. Um, obviously you're not going to traverse across the side of a hill all day, but at times it's good to be able to change direction and, and not be not be freaked out and go, I want to get there, but I've got to go down to the bottom and along and back up. You just know that you can ride up it, ride up it and get to where you want to go. So wheel along while it's locked. I've never seen this before. Notice as soon as the front starts to go, <laughs> don't do that. That's what we don't want. Leaning forward, throttle and clutch, essentially you end up just doing a burnout. <laughs> Alright, so we want the rear wheel to actually drive. Look at that. Driving the front wheel sort of locked. And push the front wheel along. So you can see when you're comfortable with it, Chris, when he gets a, a good feel, he can push that front wheel along for quite a distance. I'm definitely going to stack this. And to be comfortable enough to do that makes a big difference to your riding. I'm going to try and skid the front wheel while driving it with ABS on. I think the German okay, will just to. pull yeah. over. You might see little lock up. See how enduro mode, see the little lock? Oh yeah, it keeps... So that's, that's a... That's enduro mode in action, how it, it just allows those little skids, those micro skids, but then releases, release, release, release. It's like my ABS. Is my, my ABS isn't off. How do you turn it off? That's my traction control is off. <sighs> Such a noob. That's why I was freaking out. I'm like, why isn't it, it's not locking up the front. No way, that was awesome. How good am I? It's like riding in the sand. This is pretty, this is pretty technical. Way! One GS down. Beep your horn. <laughs> there he goes. Celebratory. GS over horn blow. Oh, hey. 
Ui Did I take out the cone? No, I didn't So I skid while it's still upright And then slide it in Speed for that one. Nah, I was already lent over. <laughs> yeah, that was a sick drift. Dude, this is a great freaking course, this one. What a freaking fun. It doesn't even feel like I'm learning stuff, like, it just feels like I'm having a I'm gonna ride with some buddies. We're all on the same bike. We're all on beamers. I mean, generally, when we go out for rides, it's always there's a bit of a, a disparity. Is that the word? A bit of a disparity between what bikes are out. Like you might have like a 690, then you might have like Nurb on his 1190, and then sometimes I go out with my cousin and he's on a 252 stroke. And like like where you go really depends on. Um, what kind of bikes you got man like but because we're all on you know pretty similar level of bikes you know the 800s are probably a bit easier to take off road than the 1200s 1200s have got a bit more a bit more features and stuff to the uh, 800s a bit more basic compared to the 1200s so they're pretty even off road um, it's good that we're all kind of at the same level of what bikes we have if you got a gs come do the freaking off-road course great fun you gotta stop in the box in first gear coming from however high speed you want i'm gonna do 200 here it comes 300 k's an hour 260 kilo r 1200 gsa nice brakes nice quick shifting perfect Whoa. Uh, a little bit over. That was still pretty good. Good to go. Let's do it. <laughs> Too fast. <laughs> Oh yeah, a bit back, yep. That was some good braking though, Tom. Good braking. Yeah, you can grab a, grab a big handful before the ABS really starts kicking in. <laughs> so close. <laughs> I didn't die. I nudged the brick wall with my tire. That just goes to show how good are the freaking electronics these days on um, the ABS on bikes, man. That was just grabbing as much front brake as possible on a 200 kilogram bike on dirt. That's how it's freaking done. That was pretty quick. Oh, let's do a jump. Ready for this one. GS jump. Ooh, overcooked that one. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't care. <laughs> that was the last one. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Even about that one. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Nice Sliding it in and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah the bike's starting to, starting to drift in. Yeah. It looks smooth. No, that feels really good. So, easy peasy. Like Slipped it a bit too much. See the super bikes going around the Broadford Road track. Ooh, they must be racing, they're going quicker than a track day, that's for sure. Ooh. They are like freaking elbow downing. Look at that shit. Really. I can't believe this is just the first day of this. We got another day of awesome training. This is gonna be great, man. Well, first day is done. Didn't drop the GS. So all good in the hood. Rad day, man. BMW GSs. So much fun. Wee. <laughs> now I've just lost it. Now I'm just dropping it every which when. Ha, ha, ha.